them then, okay? So I'm leaving it here? Yeah. No, don't leave it there. Take it home with you. <laughs> I don't want anybody God. to steal it. What do I do? No, you can just leave it there, buddy. Just leave it at the front door. We'll get it from you later. Okay. <laughs> what do I do? Do I leave it or I take it? Do I leave it or I take it? We got a 47 oh, ABC update thing. coming up. We go live to the hotline now. Glenn Turman. Hey, Bill. Hey, Jessica. Hi. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Welcome to the Bill and Jessica Show. Happy 4th of July, yeah, by the way. You. Yeah, happy 4th. I know uh, we're a little bit early, but it's all good. You uh, got any plans for the weekend? Um, no, not, nothing, nothing in specific. Okay. You know, I'll probably throw a firecracker or two somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> right, right. Hey, look, we're a little bit starstruck, man. Look, I mean, we are. your career ha has been amazing. Um, first off, uh, coming off of 80 for Brady, uh, I, I know that was a huge movie. And, of course, we remember you from A Different World, The Wire, Matlock, TJ Hooker, The Paper Chase. Uh, I mean, and... I'm not this old, uh, you know. Forgive me, but murder she wrote. That <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Bill's> favorite. <laughs> no, no, no. My, my mom used to watch that. My mom used to watch. And you know what? I actually mom remember you. From, I remember you from Murder She Wrote. I think. <laughs> oh my God! No, you don't. You're too young. You're too young. But, but yeah, you're right. I've been around a long. I've been around a long time. Well, you're an icon, yeah, man. And congratulations on the NAACP image award thank you thank you very much um you got a new documentary that's out the legend of glenn turman uh it's currently streaming on peacock uh kind of tell us a little bit about it i mean I, I i guess uh you know a lot of the stuff that we mentioned already is is on the uh on the documentary but you know give us a rundown mm -hmm. talk to us about your career well it's it, it, it's a documentary hopefully that uh will tell uh shed some light on what the journey has been like you know yeah and it's a uh, Pretty much, uh, I guess, answering the question is: uh, do, do you follow your dream, or or does your does your your fate put you in a position? And are you aware of of who and where you are and what you're supposed to be doing? You know, right? Um, you would think that I, all those those shows that you named, you would think that I was in hot pursuit of the industry. Uh, but I started at such a young age, and it kind of followed me. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. what happened was I had to come around to the to the uh, realization that this was my calling. Right. You know, right. I, I wanted to do everything else other than be an actor. It seemed like, and uh, but I, I I couldn't duck it, and uh, finally I had to wise up and realize, hey, this is what you do. And yeah. So it was a, a different journey, you know. For me, and uh, but the journey is similar in that I think a lot of people find themselves in a position of running right past what their calling is, you know. Uh, and so, so maybe they can gain uh, gain some kind of, uh, uh, of information or wisdom about um, hey, what's for you is for you, you know. Have you ever gotten like a lot of time off? You, you ever get any time off? Because uh, you know, throughout your career, you've been in so much and done so much. It seems like, man, you know, because I, I mean, I, I've seen what it takes to film a movie and a TV show and all this. You got to do the same stuff, same shots over and over and over again. You know, and it, it takes like a long time. And it's like, man, you've done so much. Do you ever get a break? <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. Well, what uh, what, what is one of your your best memories? Like, what what is what is uh, some memories that you have from like you know doing like certain shows or movies or or you know whatever? What, what what's you know some of your best memories working? Oh, oh, I have so many memories, you know. But one of the memories is right. It's just one recently made. You know, I just came back from doing uh, a Kevin Costner movie called Horizon. Okay, uh, which is a western. 
and the western is my favorite genre and <clears throat> and to do it with uh, with Kevin was was fantastic in a beautiful place called the uh, uh, Mount Zion National Park and uh, so it was it, it was a wonderful time and uh, so just made some new friends and uh, uh, were in a new project that getting quite a bit of publicity now and uh, you know so that's been added to my list of things that uh, will stand out as, as, as a part of my career you know nice nice um is, is there anything else that you got uh like coming up that you're working on i mean it seems yeah. like you don't stop <laughs> yeah well you know i had i had so much fun doing 80 for brady yeah <laughs> yeah talk to our, our, hold on know. before you tell us what you got have you guys seen 80 for brady i have not but that's definitely on my list um how was it working on yeah, talk to us about that movie You've got to see 80 for Brady. 80 for Brady was one of the, the, the greatest little movies that you, or big movies that you, you ever want to see. It was the greatest cast, you know, uh, from Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda, you know, and Rita Moreno, who plays my love interest in the, in the, in the piece, you know, and Sally Field, and, of course, Tom Brady. And uh, we just had such a blast. I had such a blast working with those ladies, you know, there, so... So iconic in their their own rights, and uh, you know, and uh, just the balls of energy, just energy galore. Still beautiful and still feisty, and Rita Moreno. Love and it. So you know, that's another uh, iconic moment in, in my career. I, I won't forget. Well, you know, but, I'm, uh, I'm a big. I'm a big sports guy, big football guy, and I've always been a Brady guy. Hey, Brady, either love him or hate him, and I've always been a big Brady guy, so that's definitely on my list. Can't wait to check that out. Um, what's next for Glenn Turman? What do you got working? What do you got cooking? Well, um, the Obamas have a new production company. They're going into the motion picture business. Love it. Uh, and their the company is called Higher Ground. Okay. And Higher Ground has just produced a movie for Netflix called The uh, Buyer, The Buyer Rustin story. It's called Rustin, actually. Okay. And um, it's The Buyer Rustin story. And Buyer Rustin was the creator of the March on Washington in 1963. He was the founder of it. And it's a, about his journey. And it's a fantastic story starring Coleman Domingo and uh, directed by George C. Wolfe, who directed. Coleman and myself uh, in um, the Biola Davis um, film for Netflix called uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. So, okay. Uh, this is a project that you cannot miss. You will not miss. It's going to be. It's going to. Be, it's it's going to be at the awards. For sure. It'll Can't be wait. Award. Yeah, I mean, and, and you said the Obamas and, are behind it, so of course, you know, I mean, definitely something yeah, that yeah. is uh, is going to be great. Mm -hmm. uh, the Legend of Glenn Turman, of course, check it out. New documentary streaming on Peacock, and, and I see here all the major platforms recently, 80 for Brady, Kevin Costner's Western, Horizon, uh, An American Saga. Glenn, we love you. Thank you so much for giving us a great career, and I know it's going to continue for you know many years to come. Looking forward to uh, seeing what you got up, you know, coming up in the future. Thank you, my friend. We appreciate it. Hey, man, and thank you both for, uh, for for giving me the time on your wonderful station. God Always, you. you're the best. Have a great day. More hits coming up. La Dama Mexico.